In this video, we're going to talk about factorial. Um, I have made one on fundamental counting principle. Factorial is just sort of an extension of the idea of fundamental counting principle. So if you don't know what's going on, then probably go back and watch that, and it all sort of makes sense. Or some of it might make sense. I don't know. No guarantees. Anyway, um, so as far as factorial goes, the idea is uh, we started, uh, imagine if you had your own apartment or your first dorm when you're in college. You get this idea that you're going to try to look intelligent, so you get some books and arrange them in an order, uh, you know, just to make them look nice. So when people come in, they're like, oh, well, you're reading Wealth of Nations and King Lear. That's amazing. So we'll pretend that in the beginning, you know, it's college student life, you have three books that you can arrange in any order. So you maybe want to think about, well, how many different orders can I arrange them? And like the bindings are different colors, so you want to make it look as smart as possible. So you could have, we'll just call the books book one, two, and three, and not name them. So in the first case, I could put the first book in, second book, third book. But I could do that same thing and just flip around and do uh, uh, the second and third books because I didn't like how that looked. Then I'm like, well, the first book shouldn't go there, so I'm going to try keeping the second two. Or I'll just try flipping the first and second. And I'm like, no, two looks okay in the front, but what about flipping the second two? So uh, I have the second book in the series, and then I have uh, the third book in the series in the first, and then I just flip those around. And then I'm like, you know, maybe the second book in the front is the problem. So I try this, flipping uh, the three and the two, and then I say, okay, just one more try, and I get this. What this does is give me all my possible options. So basically I have six, one, two, that color's not great, one, two, three, four, five, six total possibilities if I arrange them. Well, you know, you go to the Salvation Army or whatever and you buy another book because those three didn't make you look smart, but, you know, four's totally going to turn the tide of things and make you look like a genius. So now you have four books. So you want to do the same thing. Uh, you'll see that the number goes up considerably. So I have opportunities for one. I could do what I would expect normally. I'm going to just going to list all of them very quickly. And you can see the immense number of what they look like. I'll do all of them for one anyway. So these are all the possibilities that I get when I have the first book in the say in the, uh, the book number one first in line. So I could have them in traditional two, three, four order, or I could flip the three and the four, and all of a sudden three's in there, and I'm mixing those up and all that stuff. Um, as it goes, you would have the same thing with two. And then you would have the same thing with three. And then you have the same thing with four. So in this case, uh, you could have a total of 24 different possibilities. Now, from here, uh, it gets into the idea of well, what if I have five books? How many possibilities do I have then? Because then I'm going to get you know sort of OCD about it, and I, I might spend way too much time doing this. Well, there's a way to figure it out without you know, having to go through all that. So what they've, uh, what was determined using sort of the thing, same situation that in, uh, exists in fundamental counting principle, well, I could just take three books and say, well, I could choose any one of the three books once I lock that one into place, like I did here. Under each of these settings, I sort of just have two options. So I multiply by two, and then when I lock in that number, so once I lock in the I want book three first, I want book two, there's only one option left. So I say three possibilities are three times two times one, which is, of course, six. Um, in similar case, with uh, four books, I could say that, well, I could have one, two, three, or four, so there's four possible books to start with. When I, once I lock that in, uh, in terms of like what overall book that I want, you can see that I have one, to three possibilities after that for the second book. And then once I do that, I'm sort of stuck into, well, I have, you know, 
two of them to choose from, either this or this. I can only go one of those ways once I say book one is first, book two is second, that kind of stuff. So times two. And then uh, after I lock in, in completely, I'm pretty much stuck with whatever is left over. So four times three times two times one is 24. Now, when you get to bigger numbers, which is where you would use factorial more, more often than not, um, you're dealing with a situation like, say you have 10. Well, instead of saying, you know, 10, sorry, mix it, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, nobody's got time for that. Instead, what you do is use the n to the, with an exclamation point uh, notation, so you get, in this case, 10 factorial. Same with uh, 3 here, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. So you'll see it in uh, permutation and uh, I think combination work. Uh, you'll see that factorial representation a lot uh, because it's in the formula most likely. But that's what it means. It just means that's how many original, original choices that you have and then you just do that number times the number below times the number below and so on and so forth because I can't imagine any human on earth who'd want to sit there and write that out without factorial notation. So that's all factorial really is. It's just the idea that you could save yourself time by using it. Uh, most calculators that do scientific work will have it, so that way you don't have to type or write it all in and show it. It makes it cleaner and smoother, which is what really math was all about originally as a language. So there it is.